and today we're taking a trip to a real international crossroads of art, antiques and culture in Belgium. Welcome to the grand final of Boot Sale Challenge. We're travelling to Tongeren on the far side of Belgium from the Ostend ferry port. The town is situated near to the German border and it has a population of 30,000 people along with a history that stretches back to Roman times. The flea market where our final is taking place is the largest of its kind in the Benelux countries. Every Sunday morning, even before dawn has broken, the roads are lined with hundreds of stalls which sit proudly alongside the town's many antique shops. Well, it's rather early in the morning, hence it's pitch black, so it's going to be a little bit hard to spot the bargains. But, gentlemen, I have a little surprise for you this morning. Is it a nice surprise? It's a very nice surprise. Oh, good. Your job this morning is to go and find yourself a bargain with 650 smackaroonies. 650 pounds? No, £650. Pounds. No, this no, no. is about ten pounds, isn't it? It certainly is. Yes, it's six hundred and fifty Belgian francs. Oh, well, that's yeah, very extravagant. Wow, spice. That's a piece of oh, cake. You've got to find the best spice. Easy. Here. I feel so rich, Lorn. You know, it's a Do nice you? feeling, Don't isn't it? You won't feel it in two minutes' time. You've I tell got you. Fifteen minutes, and no, your time starts no. now. <laughs> it's not bad, you know. It's eight hundred francs. We're getting down to six fifty. This is definitely. A possibility. Well, how quintessentially British in the middle of an antiques market in Belgium. Rather splendid, isn't it? 1,500. Well, there you have it. 1,500. Three times more or less what I've got to spend. 800 francs. So that's a little bit over my budget, but it's not a bad price. Come back to buy the jug, and would you believe it? It's gone. And there's a real moral there. He who hesitates is lost. Well, I'm having a bit of a haggle with a gentleman. He's asking um, 100 francs each, so I'll get a nice little set of six here for my 650 francs. Up here, there's more, there's more, there's hope. There's the 600, there's the 50, and I've got seven rather lovely champagne glasses. Cheers. Really, I shouldn't be looking at this because it hasn't got a saucer, but this is an early Limoges cup. It's 350 Belgian francs. I'm going to buy this and I'm going to have change. Well, the judges' time's up and we all had a tenner each. So, Mr Hetchin, what did you find? I like the look of that. Yeah, I like the look of it too, but it's missing one quite vital ingredient. I wonder if you can guess what that might <laughs> the be. The saucer. Yes, the oh, saucer. Oh. I'd like to say I dropped it on the way, but <laughs> there was never a saucer. Honest, oh. Gov. Um, but it's, the nice, it's a nice design. It's Limoges, it's early 20s, uh, it's good factory. And it cost me half of my allowance. Five Three, quid. Five quid, 300 francs. Yes, it's very nice. Oh, I'm not 100% yeah, yeah. convinced without the sauce. So. No, neither no. am I. No. I. Can I just tell you a hard luck story, though? The other item that I was going to buy, and I'd gone back to buy, it sold. Oh, they uh, all that's say what happens that. if you travel. I reckon it was a conspiracy, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And you, yeah, Mr. Oliver, what did you get? Well, my darling, at seven in the morning, I do like to quaff a glass of champagne, as you can see. And these are rather nice acid-etched glasses from probably the 1920s. And I've got six of them. If you can see here on the label, they were 750 Belgian francs. But of course, being the old barterer that I am, I managed to get them down to 650. So there's my little find. Well, I got a whole set of these. Oh, yes. Which are Indian sort of... Dis well, no, they're made in Japan. Right. And they're under licence to Disney from 1966, and they're all made of felt. And it's a whole series from the Jungle Book. And I got about six characters, I think, for a tenner. There are moments in this programme yes. when one feels a little <laughs> jealousy. <laughs> and they are actually very good. And I think, good, and I think I'm really <laughs> not annoyed at that. They're good. They are super yes. well done. Yes. I think so who won? You have won. 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 Yeah, no, no doubt. Really it's then. unanimous. <laughs> unanimous. Yeah. Well, it's the final. One of the teams got through to this part of the competition is Claudia and Taryn. Hello. Hi. Hello. Now, you had a very successful boot sale at yes. the Hook Road Arena one, didn't you? We yes. did. Which was in Epsom. Yes. What was your favourite item from that? Well, we liked the dog, didn't we? <laughs> but the judge didn't. Yeah, no, he didn't like the dog, but we liked yeah. the dog. I'm not sure that I'm a fan of this particular piece. Did you Did you like this one, He's girls? Lovely. You like He's him? Lovely. And what have you done with them, all the different pieces? Have you got them at home? Um, some. Some, some at sold home. Sold the dog. Yeah. You sold the dog. Sold the dog, <laughs> yes. Well, how much did you make on the dog? Oh, quite a lot. Oh. Quite a lot. <laughs> 
Yeah, surprisingly enough. Yeah. So were you surprised to get through? Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. to be honest. Oh, no, I wasn't. She wasn't there. <laughs> no, I know my onions. And what sort of things are you going to look for here? Because it's slightly different, isn't it, when you come to a different country? Oh, um, well. Chocolates and yes. young men, yeah. I think, right, for me. Right, okay. yeah. <laughs> So, excuse me. <laughs> Sit down. Saucy. You're all right. Saucy. <laughs> and our blue team that got through to the final is Jim and Lynn. And that was West Wickham, wasn't it? Was, yeah. Which was looking a bit tired when we got there, as I recall. Very and hot. then you found those marvellous vases. Yeah, Marks and Spencer. Yeah. <laughs> We both looked at them. Yeah. I thought, and I said, put those down for Marks and Sparks. <laughs> marks and Sparks? <laughs> oh, dear, don't get well, these with a couple yeah. of coupons. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> well, we knew they were calling Melbourne oh, all along. Yes, of course we did. Yes, we did. Oh, we did. We did. And are they with you at home? Oh, yeah. They are, yes. Yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you like them? We've, we've grown to love them. We are going to value your pair of vases here at £100, and we're going to give you a round of applause for that. Now, do you love them more because you know what they were worth? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's honest, yeah. I have to say. Yes. Were you surprised that they were worth so much? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, we didn't expect that. Well, you both know the rules. You get £100, which roughly translated into Belgian francs is a 6,500 each. Okay. So it sounds like such a lot, but um, mm -hmm. we'll have to see how far it goes. Goes. Anyway, yeah. so you know, team, who's having the money out for you two? Me, cashier. Thank there you, you so go, much. there's Lovely. yours. Lovely. And blue team? I'll take it. Yeah, there you are, there's <laughs> yours. Okay, usual rules 90 minutes Good only, thing. and your time starts yeah. now. Yeah, it's got some age to it. How much is that? Oh dear. Monsieur? Uh, Monsieur? Combien? Combien, s'il vous plaît. Oh, he's quite good looking. He's he? very nice. £500. Pounds. Yes. yes. Mm. You have to Two, with, shall we? With, 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 well, yes. <laughs> That's yes. 900. That is £13, pound, £14. Pounds. Ooh, it's not bad, is, is it? It's, it's a stylish nice. piece. So nice I like it. it, yeah. It's just over 40 quid. Do you like it's it? It's half our money gone. Is it? If you want to do that. Mm, 700 Please. 700 yeah. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, oh, it is old, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah, go on. Love that. It's a small one, so small one, but well, it fits okay. my head. The best price on this? 2,500. I think it's quite nice. Here we go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. It's heavy, though, so I don't Two know who's five. going to be carrying this. <laughs> There's five, sir. I'm going to put that in Seven. here. Yeah, 200. Thank you very much. Okay, do I get a kiss? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, la la, monsieur. Oh, a snog. We're in Tongren, which is Belgium's oldest town. Back in the Roman times, Julius Caesar marched through here and built this Roman wall. So it's quite appropriate, really, that we should bring both our teams of finalists here to battle it out and find the best bargains, collectibles and antiques. Of course, the winning team will get one of these vases each. They've been specially designed for us by Sally Tuffin very rare pieces and each one has got a special back stamp to commemorate the event. Lucky winners. How much? 3,000. So that's 45 pounds. 30 quid. Don't you? Yeah, I, I like don't. it. It's a great quirky bounce. It's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too expensive. What? Uh, my share. Uh, oui, mais je sais pas faire beaucoup moins cher. Hein? Oh, oh, too much, yeah. Where is it? 700 francs. That's uh, just under a tenner, over a tenner. Just over a tenner. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Should yes. we go for that? Yes. 38, 39 pounds. Oh, I'd want it for 30 quid. Yeah, we can't. How much can't... is 30 quid in there? Oh, well, 30 quid is um, 2,000. Voilà. 2,000, you won't do it for 2,000. Will you do it for 2,000? It's 2,000. No. I do like the style of it, I have to say. Yeah, yeah. it's an unusual piece. Where has he gone? Where's the man gone? You take 225 for that one. OK. Ah, thank you. It's a lot of wood. I know, it's actually Miss Jellico. Isn't that a famous, famous American ship? Jim! 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 Yeah, it's ugly, but I mean... Oh, it's horrible. I know it's horrible, but that horrible things sell. Oh! I sell. <laughs> Well, you might think that this is just a little wooden box with some ivory detail on it. In fact, it's actually made of card, and it contains a little surprise. I'll show you. Unfortunately, you won't be able to smell it, but it is some beautiful perfume by Guerlain, which, of course, is a Parisian French manufacturer of perfumes. This perfume bottle is particularly sought after and made by Baccarat glass. Now, 
Mm, I do like the smell of that, I have to say. It's actually empty, but that doesn't make any difference in terms of the potential value to perfume bottle collectors. It cost me just £30 in France. So how much is it really worth? Find out after the break.